Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today we are at day 15 in the Create December. I'm going to be starting my video by sharing this beautiful new kit from Feed Your Craft Brandy Kincaid. It is gorgeous. It has flares, some puffy stickers, some die cuts, and a beautiful stamp set. Of course, it comes with 4x6 cards and 3x4 cards. And this kit is called Mark Your Place. It's all about reading and books. And you guys know I love my books and I love to read. So I thought I'm going to be using this kit to document my reading in 2018. So I decided to create a little album for my reading journal. Now uh, we are at day 15 in the Create December and the prompt is thankful. And I'm totally thankful for my books. So I'm going to be using this kit to... Um, show my thankfulness to my books or my gratitude i guess anyways i am going to be using a six by eight album and i grabbed some vellum to uh, start my pages with i want it to be my title page so i'm just going to use my crocodile to add those little holes um, after i measured it uh, against a page protector i want to decorate my vellum piece so i'm going to go through the die cuts they have so many die cuts in this pack, it's ridiculous and they're beautiful. So I'm just going through them trying to figure out what I want to use. I decide to stamp out this, uh, these bookshelves from one of the stamps in the stamp set and I will be using some stays on ink. I find that stays on ink works really well on vellum um, and it dries pretty fast, faster than archival. And then I'm going to be uh, adding a little heart right above my bookcase. So I felt like my heart needed something. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp reading is my superpower right in the center of my heart. And then I call my title card or title page done. I'm going to be moving on. I will be using these Studio Calico folders with these little tabs. And I thought I could stamp out January because I'm just prepping my album for my reading log for 2018. So I'm going to stamp out January in that tab. And I still want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to go through my die cuts and I found a really cute yellow pencil. I'm just gonna add it above my hello. I moved my die cuts in this little bowl because there was so many and it was so hard to go through them. So I thought adding them in a little bowl would uh, help a little bit while I'm prepping my pages. But anyways, I really like how this looks. So I'm gonna flip it over and start going through my photos. Now, I have a picture of the library because I love going to the library and I have these stacks of books that I'm hoping to read in January. So I do want to go ahead and add those to my album. I do want to kind of layer my picture. So I thought I would use these old Felicity Jane cards to layer my picture with. I really like that yellow framed one and I thought I could kind of fussy cut around it and use it as a frame. But you will see in a little bit while I was fussy cutting around that frame, I don't know why I actually cut through it. It was a weird decision. You know those moments when your brain thinks you should do something, but you really shouldn't? <laughs> it sounds really weird. But you will see. Once I start fussy cutting, I fussy cut out the middle piece, that white piece. And then I grab my photo and I think, oh, this is not going to work. I don't know why I didn't just stick it right on top of my photo and framed my photo with it. You'll see, I'm trying to add the very weird. So I cut and then I'm like, what did I just do? That was the dumbest thing ever. I could have just used it as a frame for my picture. Believe me, once I thought about it, I was like, oh my gosh, that was like a really stupid moment right there. Anyways, I fixed it. I just stuck the frame together and I was good to go.
I'm done layering my photo, but of course I want to add some embellishments, so I'm going to go through those die cuts. I found this really cute green tab that said uh, write it, and a library die cut which worked perfect for my photo, and it was green, so I'm going with it. But before I stick everything down, I thought I'm going to add some splatter to the corners of my page. I am really enjoying adding splatter to my pages, especially to a white page. It just adds color and it's pretty fun. So I'm just adding them to the corners and then I'm going to start sticking things down. I'm looking at my page and I feel like it's missing something and of course I didn't stamp so I'm gonna grab my pattern play stamp set from Feed Your Craft and I'm gonna use the zigzaggy one and the stars I will stamp them out in gray ink in the corners of my page and I believe I call this page done and then I will be moving on to the right side of my layout Now, as I said before, this photo is um, a stack of books that I want to read in January. So I want to stamp out January 2018 to be read. Now, if I stamped it directly on that 4x6 uh, card, you wouldn't be able to see it because it's uh, definitely way too busy. So I, I'm using a pattern paper, just black and white stripes. I'm going to stamp out January 2018 to be read. I used a bunch of my Feed Your Craft stamps for this. I'm going to trim it down and add it to my 4x6 card. But I, when I did that, I didn't really like how it looked. It just didn't stand out. So I'm going to back it up. Actually, when I was putting away my paper, I noticed that the back side of this pattern paper is a beautiful yellow. So I thought I would go ahead and back up that little card with the yellow pattern paper and add it right to that 4x6 card. I want to add some embellishments to this 4x6 card. So I'm going to grab that puffy sticker sheet and it is beautiful you guys. I don't even want to use them because I'm worried that I'm going to end up with uh, no more in my stash. But I end up using these beautiful flowers. I add them to the corner and I will use a die cut tab to add right on top of my January. I really like how this ended up. I love that combo of black, white, and yellow so, so much. I will also be adding another puffy sticker um, on my photo and I found this beautiful yellow banner that said all booked up and I'm going to stick it right on top of my stack of books. I'm going to start working on the back side of my page protector. I end up using the photo with my two favorite books that I read last year and I really want to reread them. So I'm going to add them to my little TBR for January. I end up using that 4x6 um, card that says sleep is good but books are better. It is so adorable and it matched really nicely with my photo. I will stamp out love these books. Um, I first thought I was going to stamp it on my photo, but I end up stamping it on a vellum piece and adding a little puffy heart to my photo.
I'm going to go through that pack of flares that comes in the kit. I thought I would add a flare, but I end up using it on the opposite side of my page. I like how it looks in the corner, so I'm just going to add it there. And I believe I'm done with these two layouts. I will be grabbing another 6x8 page protector because I printed out a bunch of uh, book covers that I want to read in 2018 and I thought I would choose one of them to read in January. I really want to read The Couple Next Door and hopefully I get to it this year or I mean next year. I will be adding a journaling card because I want to kind of review the book when I read it but I feel like this 3x4 card is pretty plain so I'm gonna grab my stamps. There is a tag in those in that stamp set. I thought I could stamp it out on some pattern paper, fussy cut it out and add it to my three by four card. Now that I'm done with my little tag, I will be adding a little puffy flower right next to it just to bring in some color. But I still feel like my 3x4 card needs something, so I decide to stamp out the little bookshelves. Now, it is two bookshelves like stacked together or on top of each other, but I only want one, so I decide to just stamp the top part and figure out how I can get this in a straight line. It wasn't that hard, by the way, but I really like how it turned out. It's just a stack of books sitting on the bottom of my three by four card. And then I grab the little stamp that says hashtag shelfie, and I will be adding that to my little bookshelves. I'm going to be adding a little puffy sticker to this 4x6 uh, card and adding some lines to my journaling card and then I believe I call this part of my layout done. I will be moving on to my last page. I still have a few books that I would like to read in January. Now if I don't read all these books, the great part of these page protectors is that you can move them around so I can always move this page protector to February. So while I was going through my cards, I really like this 4x6 one. So I'm going to cut it in half and use half of it for today's layout. And I always can use the other half for a different project. But I'm going to start stamping. I will stamp out, I believe I stamped out Love This Part on this journaling card. And I wanted to use this die cut heart. I'm going to grab it in a sec. I really liked it against my other 3x4 card, but I felt like the 3x4 card was a bit too busy, so I'm going to grab a vellum piece, and I think, oh, actually I like that, but while I was cutting my vellum piece, or trimming down my vellum piece, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to emboss some something on this card, or on this vellum piece, because I rarely use my embossing powder. So I thought I'm going to go for it. I'm going to grab my embossing powder and my stamps and I believe I'm going to stamp out books uh, just across my vellum piece just in lines and then I'm going to add some embossing powder to that and heat set it. I am done stamping the word book across my vellum piece, so I'm going to add my powder now. And I have to say, I don't know why I don't do embossing that often because really this turned out so pretty. You will see once I grab my heat gun and set this powder, it looks pretty neat. 
I do add it to my three by four card, but then I felt like I lost that beautiful pattern after I added the vellum piece to it. So I'm going to go back into my three by four cards. I end up using kind of a very subtle pink three by four card to back up my vellum piece. And I really like how it turned out. Moving on to my 4x6 picture, I want to stamp so I thought I would look for a label um, and I end up using a really pretty pink one and I'm going to stamp out my weekend is all booked up and add that to my photo. At this point, I'm thinking I'm done with my layout, but I look at my three by four journaling card and I feel like it's missing something. So I'm gonna grab my puffy stickers. I'm gonna add a little tiny, um, I believe that's a flower, but I still feel like I need something more. So I'm gonna grab one of the pencil die cuts and I really like these pencil die cuts. They are adorable. So I thought I could add it, but it's too long. So I'm gonna cut the bottom half off and then just add it to the other side of my journaling card. It looked pretty cool. It looked like my pencil is wrapped around my journaling card. Anyways, I was, you know me, I'm not about to waste anything. So I really like how that turned out. And then I believe I am done with my pages or my January pages. I'm really excited about this kit. And if you want to grab yourself one of these kits, I would definitely head over to the Feed Your Craft um, website because these kits sell out so fast, you guys. I'm going to add the links down below. I'm just going to do a quick flip through for you and I believe I call this done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!